Hi everybody, today I have a review of the U-Command Buzz Lightyear. This is a remote control um, Buzz Lightyear action figure. Um, I believe there's been two ever kind of made, no, three. Um, there was this one, there is the super advanced um, programmable Buzz robot that was released exclusively at Target. This was released exclusively at Toys R Us. And a um, walking Buzz thing, um... It's hard to find info on, um, I've seen at least, but it was released at, um, the Disney Store in, like, 2005, I think. This was released later, I believe, in 2010 or 2011. Um, pretty cool. Toys R Us exclusive. Kind of rare. Um, yeah, so, let's just get into it. So, Buzz himself is actually quite a bit, um, bigger than many others. So, here's a standard... 12 inch buzz for reference, and you can see he is bigger. He's about two inches bigger, somewhat. Um, yeah, so moving him out of the way, this is the buzz figure himself. He's got a nice, um, large ish head, helmet that goes up and down, of course. Um, the arms, I'm not going to move, they do move, but they move with the motors. And, um, pushing them manually without the motors kind of messes it up. <sighs> so he does have a laser, which is pretty cool. Um, his arms can move around somewhat. Um, same goes for the other one. It's a bad camera angle, I apologize. Um, the legs are stuck in place like this. Um, he's kind of crouching somewhat. There, trying to get him in shot. It's the back, you can see. He has the on and off switch there. Um, another infrared signal. I believe that's also what the front bit is there for the red button. Um, no wings, obviously, because this one is jam-packed full of stuff. Um, battery compartments here. Two double A's in each side, so that's a total of, like, four. Um, over in the back here, we actually have <laughs> extendable, um, like, extra wheels. Um, this is for stability, although they are, they tend to come out often. Um, and then they also have the wheels on the bottom of the feet, of course, which are what's going to move the re remote around. Um, I'm going to put them on place like that. And then we have the remote here, which is pretty interesting. Um, these are all the commands on it. These are more of, like membrane type things so they don't necessarily really have analog input the sticks at least so they just kind of that's down that's up there um <laughs> i taped a bit back there but um i'm missing the battery compartment on this but it does take three trip um double a batteries for the remote um and the on and off switch will i which i will turn on later so just with the buzz himself without the um other you know, stuff in place with the remote. Um, turning him on. I am Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger. I come in peace. See, he starts moving around already. Um, I wasn't able to find a manual for this guy, unfortunately, so kind of going to have to wing it here. But um, he's got voice modules, of course. I am Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger. Um, the motor thing that you hear at the bottom he does he's on wheels however i have him stuck on top of two cd cases um so that he doesn't like move around on my carpet or whatever not that he would really would but i don't really want to get any hair on him I come in peace. or not hair fuzz whatever I don't know, on the wheels i protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion you can see he's kind of moving around by himself though um he also has the laser which functions as expected the laser is not really that bright in reality. Oh, I also should mention the hands do open up and close, which is pretty interesting. My wings are a trillium carbonic alloy, perfect for adventures in outer space. All of these phrases are like engraved into my head, <laughs> but yeah, that's it for the base one. Um, now I'm going to go switch to a voiceover with pre-recorded um, footage of remote stuff. So let's go. Okay, so pushing up on both sticks allows Buzz to move forward. 
Pushing both sticks down allows Buzz to move backwards. Pushing the sticks to opposing sides allows Buzz to spin in a circle in either direction, depending on which way you push either one. And finally, pushing a single stick either up or down um, allows Buzz to do a swing turn on either foot. These actually allow Buzz to do some pretty um, cool stuff. He is able to do some pretty interesting and complicated maneuvers. The only issue is um, he has a couple sections, seconds where he needs to register, and also because he's so top-heavy, occasionally that will happen. While there are um, technically four directional buttons that allow Buzz to move on the upper section of the actual buttons, but um, they only really let him do slight, small movements and are best used when um, doing the programming section, which I will show later. These next three buttons um, allow Buzz to spin in a circle, kind of do this backwards and forwards thing, and then spin, and perpetually swerve um, to the sides constantly. Each one um, plays with a little sound effect there isn't really much of it. The next button activates Buzz's quote Spanish mode where he plays music and does a little dance. Um, this I believe is actually a slightly abridged version of the music used for the ultimate programmable Buzz. I actually think this is a simplified version as it's missing a couple of the instruments in the background and there's an entire section of the song missing. This speech bubble button does exactly the same thing as the buttons on Buzz's chest. And the laser button gives Buzz the ability to just talk about his laser or whatever. After pushing the program button, you can go into the different buttons, like the forward, backward, left, right, and all the other ones. All of the buttons work, but you can push them in any order you want, and then once you're done, you can press go and the program will start. And finally, pressing the stop button, which is um, also located on the go button, immediately stops any program Buzz is doing, which also includes the pre-programmed ones that are included as those buttons. So there was my review for the U-Command Buzz Lightyear robot. Really cool toy. Um, it was a shame he was only um, released at Toys R Us because um, Pretty cool. He's got a lot of different features that you can do with him. Um, it's pretty easy to control, pretty easy to program. Um, yeah, and he's just a decent functioning Buzz toy as well. Um, so he's just pretty cool in general. Um, so yeah, that was it. Like and subscribe or whatever, and I'll see you later. Bye.